Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Praveen Kumar Bumasetti. In this video, I'll cover important that is how to integrate dbt with GitHub. Okay, so this is an important thing. So GitHub is nothing but what's a code repository or version control. So after developing our models, the macros, we want to put our code into GitHub. So for this purpose, we should integrate our code with GitHub. So in this video, we'll see how can we integrate dbt with GitHub. One second. Okay, for this one, prerequisites are what? Okay, we should have one Snowflake account, database, dbt, data build tool account, GitHub account, and uh, you should have knowledge on how to create database, schema, and a warehouse. Okay, so these are the prerequisites. Okay, so let's discuss how to integrate dbt with GitHub. Okay, one second. Give. Okay, so this is my dbt cloud account. So click on this, okay, username. So create a new account. So I'm trying to create. So dbt with GitHub integration. Okay, so I'm trying to give. So see create. So you should use the mail ID and password. Okay, now what happened? So see, so click on the connections, add a new connection. So see, now I want to communicate with Snowflake. See, dbt can be connected with any of the data warehouse. I'm trying to connect with Snowflake. So we should give the Snowflake account, Snowflake database, and the Snowflake warehouse. So how to get this account? So first we should have one Snowflake account. So click on this value, okay? So go to the account copy the account URL. So go here. So see, we don't want these things. So control V. So we don't want HTTPS, remove this HTTPS and the Snowflake computing also remove it. Okay, now I want to get one database, one schema. Let me create one database. So create, so step by step, this is important, follow as it is. So create database. Okay, so Praveen, DBT training. Okay, so this is my database. Same thing, create one schema. So create schema dbt. This is called as namespace, database name, schema name, and object name. So SC schema, okay. So dbt training schema and create one warehouse. Okay, create warehouse. So dbt extra small warehouse. So this is my warehouse, okay. So go back here. So go to dbt give the database name so warehouse copy the warehouse name generally for a data dbt we'll try to create separate warehouse separate database so this is the first step and try to go save here so save so so far good okay so next one is that what click on develop click on so two steps a cloud id okay now what i need to give the snowflake details okay scroll down now what happened, we should give the username. So how to get my username with the help of select the current user. Okay, so follow simply what I'm trying to say, you can able to get the things done. So you, this is my username. So Praveen SF and give the password. It's a case sensitive. So which password I should give? The Snowflake, Snowset password. And what is the schema we created? Okay, see, we require database name, schema name, warehouse, username, and the password of Snowflake. Okay, so see the same thing. Scroll down, test connection. Okay, now it's everything is success. Go for save. Okay. Now what happens is set up a repository. So what the purpose of repository, whatever we work, the models, the snapshots, incremental, we want to store our code in some place that is called as code repository or version control. So dbt can be easily integrated with any of these things. So I go for git clone. So for this purpose, we need to get git URL. So we need to have one GitHub account should be there. That is important. Okay, one second. Okay, see search for GitHub. Okay, so GitHub. So you should log into GitHub account. Okay, see already have the account. So I'm simply signing the account. So we should have, so remember, you need to have Snowflake account, 
DB, one Snowflake account, one DBT account, and GitHub account. So Snowflake for data warehouse, DBT for transformations, GitHub for code repository. Now, first step of any GitHub is to create a repository. What the purpose of repository to store our code? I'm putting so DBT Snowflake scripts. Okay, give one proper name. So this is my repository name. My repository name is DBT Snowflake scripts. Okay, so create a repository. Our code will be there here. This was the functionality. Okay. Now what happens? Scroll down. Now see, click on HTTPS SSH. Copy this SSH. So this one. So copy the symbol. So SSH. We want to get take this SSH value. Okay. Same thing. Reset. So see, SSH value. Copy it. Go to DBT account. Okay. So put here and import. Okay. So this is the same thing. Okay. Now what happened now? DPT is given one more SSH. This is called as two-way authentication process. Copy this value, go to DBT, here settings. Okay, see, this is my thing. Okay, see, here settings, we need to search for settings. Okay, see, so copy the SSH value from DBT, take this SSH, click the settings. So now what happened? Scroll a little bit down. Okay, here, we should go for deploy keys. Deploy keys. Add a deploy keys. So what I need to put? We should put that SSH. So we can put any name. So deployment. Okay. So okay. Now what we need to go go allow write axis. So whatever the code need to we should go for write axis add key. Okay. I'll explain one more time. So see, this is the functionality. Now what happens? It's called as two way authentication. Now go back here. Now go for next. Now see, start developing the ID. Okay. So see, simple thing just we are trying to do. This is the two-way authentication. So, okay, so DPT giving SSH, we need to put in the GitHub, okay? So see, first step of any project is to initialize the DPT project. When you initialize what happened, the folder structure will be available, okay? Now what happened now, see now, I want to make sure like we are connecting properly or not. How to confirm select? Current database, okay. Current scheme, okay. So if it is everything success, we'll get proper thing and make sure like semicolon won't work directly. So we should not use the semicolon. So we should get Prabin DBT training. So DBT training schema. So this is correct. Now what happened now? Our code should be come here. Now tell me code is available here. So code is not available. When the code will be available? So first we should commit. And is sync. So once we commit, is commit the changes commit by Pravin. Okay. So we need to give proper, okay, proper information. Okay. So commit changes. Okay. Now once we commit, what happened? The code, if we refresh now, what happened? The code will be available. See, see, whatever the folder now, go for models folder, example folder. See, my first DBT model. Okay. Same thing. So go to DBT models folder. Okay. Go for my first DBT model, see the same thing, we'll get the same functionality. So, so for this purpose, what we should have one Snowflake account, one DBT account, one GitHub account. So, like this way, you can able to integrate Snowflake and the GitHub. So, main purpose of this GitHub is to store our data. This was the point. Okay, to store our code. Okay, code repository. Okay. If you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.